Now, the thought of your child falling seriously ill is every parent's worst nightmare. And so it must be torturous to imagine sitting in traffic on the way to the hospital, knowing every second is critical. Well, that's why the children's air ambulance is quite literally a lifesaver. Uh, Dr Ranj works alongside the specialist response teams who use that service and went along to attend the launch of two brand new helicopters and naturally arrived in style. Today, I've been invited to a garden party to celebrate the launch of two life-saving helicopters. And I don't have to worry about being late, because I'm hitching a ride in one of the stars of the party, a state-of-the-art children's air ambulance. In 2012, the children's air ambulance began with just one helicopter transporting one gravely sick child a week. Now, with the arrival of the two brand new helicopters, up to four children are being saved weekly. Why do children need their own dedicated air ambulance? So not every hospital across the country has a dedicated a paediatric intensive care unit. For that reason, children have to travel much further distances into specialist treatment centres. This is where the children's air ambulance comes into its own, and we do it up to four times faster um, travelling by air than road. And it's the journey from a local hospital to specialist intensive care when a seriously sick child is potentially most at risk and when speed is vital. And this helicopter is definitely speedy. This is what I call arriving at Lambeth Palace in style. As someone who's worked in one of the teams that regularly use the children's air ambulance, today's event and this charity are very close to my heart. And today's party is actually a royal garden party. Behind me, the Duke of York has arrived as well, and he held the rank of commander in the Royal Navy, where he served as a helicopter pilot. So today holds a very special place in his heart as well. And he's not the only famous face here today. There's soap, rock, and soccer royalty too. Why do you think a service like this is vital? Well, it saves lives, and it's got. People don't realize that they're not funded by government, they are funded purely by donations and what they've done with all the donations in that helicopter is spectacular. And the gear they have in this helicopter is incredible uh, and it saves lives, it's life and death to these children and if you're in that situation there is nothing else like this. This aircraft is an intensive care unit on wings. Everything you see here, you may also see in a proper children's intensive care unit, except this equipment is bespoke. We've got transport monitors, transport ventilators, pumps, and even a transport pod that is specific for young babies. And the equipment is used by nine specialist NHS retrieval teams across the country who provide the care in the helicopter. But there's one new piece of equipment which isn't medical but is vital for parents. These ambulances now have been outfitted so they can fit a parent in and the child would be obviously a lot calmer if they've got the parent in the helicopter with them. Something known only too well by the families of children who have been saved by the air ambulance, including Blaze Dix and his mum Natasha. We're taking Blaze to nursery as my husband and I both work. Um, we got a phone call about 11 o'clock in the morning to say that he had been taken to the recess room at the hospital. He had choked on some food at the nursery and unfortunately that had gone into his left lung and collapsed it. How bad was he? They told us that he was very close to flatlining and we could have lost him. Now you live on the Isle of Wight, so how long would it have taken you to get to your nearest children's intensive care by road? Well, because of the circumstances, we wouldn't have been able to take him ourselves. We would have had to have waited for the retrieval team to have come from Southampton over the car ferry for an hour and then across the island to the hospital, which is up to two hours in each direction. Thanks to the Children's Air Ambulance, we were there in seven minutes. Seven minutes? That's a massive difference. It is. They wouldn't have got into surgery that night. It would have been a very different circumstance without that seven-minute window. We, we are eternally grateful to the Children's Air Ambulance. It's incredible to think that in addition to all the amazing life-saving work the Children's Air Ambulance provides, it does so free of charge to the NHS and parents. So. All the families here today would like to say something on behalf of everyone saved by the Children's Air Ambulance. Thank you! Thank you. What a job they do as well. Uh, well done, everyone.